All right, so welcome back to the level coding. In today's video, we're going to talk about React code splitting and why it's important to uh, our performance of a React project. So, so what is React uh, code splitting? So, first, we need to understand how the website or React project works and how it's loaded uh, when the website is loaded. How does it work? So when the website is loaded, so when the user click and go into a new different, let's say, URL, first it's going to download HTML and CSS into the projects, and then it's going to download uh, JavaScript. So then as a project is really big, especially a single page application as React can be really big. So all the JavaScript can be really big. So the download of the JavaScript can take a long time. And because let's say when we will we can let's say for example we have different route let's say home page about contact and register it's gonna load all of that in in one time so but as a user we don't go into that route right so we especially when we initial load we go into only initial route so why do we need to download all of the component if we don't use it so that's why React code splitting come in. So to solve this problem, we can split those really big chunk of the bundle into the smaller chunk. So it separates. So if the user only go to home page, we only load those uh, component, only its component. And if you go to about, and then we only load that, we add that more, and then it's just contact, and then we just load that contacts component. And so that is gonna save us uh, a lot of, you know, download a lot of time. I think it's download from JavaScript because we we don't download the big chunk, but we download what the user need to. So it, so that the initial load is gonna be really fast. So so here is an example of what I'm gonna show. So this is a simple application that what we're gonna do. So as you can see, when I refresh right here. Uh, we can see this different chunk right here and then when I go to home page watch right here so when I and then we add this chunk and then if I go to about and then we add this chunk so this is not gonna load it if I don't go to this about so that's the initial load it's super fast and it's it, it not super fast it's fast so all right so I think that's pretty much it so let's start coding all right, so here I'm using VS Code, so you can use any ticket that you want. So this is a create React project that on right now we have only uh, show display the H1 right here. And the first thing first that you need to do is to install the React router DOMs, which we're going to work with routing. All right, so so first I'm going to create the components. Uh, oh no, nope, not in the build right here. I think why we have the build? Okay. So for now, I'm going to create a component, and this component we're going to have the about.js uh, and then the home.js, and let's see the now right here. I'm going to create a navigation uh, for we're going to link to different uh, component. So the now uh, the link right here is just come from the React router DOM. It's going so let's say I go to home page. This is home and then we can go into the about about right here great and we also let's see go to an our initial it's going to be apps this is going to apps or initial or something like that and then I'm going to import this one into every component so the now right here and this one we're gonna do h1 home page and then the about is the same things Okay, and we're gonna do h1 uh, about, and also uh, we have the navigation. Include this one as well. Great. And inside our app, what I need to do is the navigation. I think it's you can like, yeah, that's it. So the next thing is we need if we go back, it's going to be arrow because we use a link this one outside the router. So for that, we're going to create a route.js and then in here we're gonna have the browser routers and i'm gonna change this one to b as the routers and then i can remove the this right here and nope 
All right, great. So then we can have the uh, different routes. So route, and then it's going to pass. So this is for initial route. We're gonna load our apps. Nope. Uh, component is gonna be apps. So apps, and we're gonna copy this one, and then this one is gonna be home, and this one is going to be about and then the pass right here about oh no this is about and the, the one is one is going to be home and then we're going to wrap this one with a switch great and then if we need to be the exact so then we cannot go to another page all right and then if i refresh right now it's not yet right so now we need to export this one and we change this one with, uh, instead of app, we're gonna render the route. Now our initial route load this one. So right now we load all of the component, even though I'm not going to about yet, but we load, we already loaded it. So for that, we're gonna do the splitting. So the way we do that is we go into our route. I'm gonna wrap this one with subspend, uh, react subspend, and then I'm gonna wrap this one, and then this is the fallbacks. It's going to be, let's say, an H1 of uh, loading. And then we need to import this one as a lazy. As a lazy. So for that, one thing that we can do is con home uh, equal to lazy. And with the lazy, we're going to import the home right here. So, yep, that's how you do that. So I'm going to copy so import home not import home from this so this is the way you do huh voila let's see all right i think this is correct what i forget is to this one mm hmm let's see what is the problem let's import uh home slash home great so then i'm gonna copy this one and then this is going to be app, this is going to be about. And then about, the follow about, and then the app right here. Perfect. So now, when I refresh, it downloads the initial route only. And then if I go to home page, and then as you can see, we download this chunk three, and then if we go to about, the chunk two. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video and I hope you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friend and see you guys next video. Peace.